This is an alternative method of indicating a square. Now, in this particular instance, it's it's a bit of old black square stock. It's actually quite good tolerance. It's amazing these days. It used to be rubbish once, but all I've done is I just put, simply put this thing, this in the tail stock. It's got a 60 degree inside. I did with the center drill, and that has a point on there that I turned, and I can indicate off that. Now, you, there are more precise methods, such as putting rubber bands around that with bits under it so you can use a dial gauge. I don't need it that precise. This is most likely suffice with this. Um, just using the pointer, I just gave it a spin. It's within a few thou, but just as a proof of point, I'll stop this, and I'll put the dial gauge back up, and we'll see how much I got it out by. Right, we'll just check this with the dial gauge. It's about 10 or 12 thou out, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it's 14. Or maybe 15. It's, it came under the one, didn't it? Yeah, about about 15 thou. It's not going to take long to indicate that in. It's good. I find this is a good, quick, easy reference me method. As I say, there are more precise methods, but it's not needed in this case. I'll get back to you. This is now tuned in fairly well, considering it's just a bit of black stuff, and I'm just trying to... Uh, face the end off to get it square. I think that's pretty good. It's within a couple of tenths. Excuse the shaky hand as per usual. You're always going to get that with my stuff until I get organized enough to build a proper support. Here we go. Well, the new cutter arrived yesterday. I'm absolutely chuffed. I'm taking a two and a half mil cut here. Uh, for the sake of filming, I've put triple X paste on it. It's going at uh, 540 RPM. It's fairly slow, but uh, hey, who cares? Working. Just gonna take this down to 15 mil overall size, and uh, this one's finished. Right, this is the block. It's um, I've changed the design. I've, I realised a couple of things while I was making it. Uh, if I had the two these bits down here, the side, it's going to cause problems when I want to pull a piece of rolled steel out because you've got to remove the roll or you've got to remove the bush. And if that's located in inside the um, a flange or whatever you want to call it, the end plate, of course I can't just pull it out this way. So I'm going to ha um, work at just having it s sitting there using the roller there as a guide and also from the bit from the top to hold it. If that doesn't work or if it gets too much... Um, sideways movement, I can just put a, uh, later on put a piece, a small piece of steel on both sides. But at, at this stage, I'm not going to. So that one's done. Next next thing on this, I've got to pick up the centre and drill it for 22 mil, then split it and then build it up with bronze welding and then reassemble it and bore it out to 20 mil plus whatever. I think I'll start with four thou. I, I was going to do five. I'll go with four first and see, because I can always take more out. It's a bit of a pain in the bum to put it back on. So that's where we are right now. I'm just finishing off with a boring head. Um, I screwed up the previous video as I was actually doing the hole with a boring head. God knows what I did to the thing, but I struck it with a finger of fate. So this is just at the end. I've been down the bottom and up. It didn't really have to be that precise. I could have done it with a drill. But the drill was um, making fairly, fairly heavy work with it. It's only a small piece there. So I decided to drill it out to 20 and then took over with this thing and drilled it out to 22. As I said, I was just a couple of, couple of points, 0.02 over 22 mil. That's going to be fine for grazing. Yeah, jumping in and out of focus, but it's 0.02 of a mil oversize. I don't think we're going to worry about that thing. I'm going to weld it anyway. I'm about to take this out and so I can re get it back I've put the mag, mag base there with a pointer out so all I've got to do is put this on packers slide it up to the touches there I know it's in the right location it's still the same distance I've, I've indicated off that face there I've got a couple of marks but I know which ones to come up so I can take it to pieces now go away and weld it and bring it back and it all in theory it should be exactly in the right place and I <laughs> A couple of thousand is going to make a blind bit of difference on this. So next step, welding. 